Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a real life troubleshooting situation and a very interesting finding for troubleshooting temperature probes. You see here, I'm working on a mini split. This is the mini split for my, my office here, my garage. And it's got a trouble code that says that it's getting too hot, which um, doesn't allow it to turn on, unfortunately. So the first thing I do is I come out, I find, according to the legend, which one are going to be your temperature probes. Uh, so I certified that this is it. And the next thing you just naturally want to do is check with resistance. Now well, let's see. I will switch over to resistance. Make sure it's on resistance and not on continuity, by the way, because continuity it shows that this is completely open. Whereas I'm going to show you right now, it is not completely open. I hope that uh, shows up well enough. Let me see if I can rotate it a little bit, get you guys a better view. All right, how about right there? Good enough. Okay, so in order to take an ohms measurement, there's a little bit of uh, electrical current that goes from point to point, and that's how it does a differential measurement and comes out to ohms and this is a really interesting situation because here uh, I've got two different types of temperature probes one of them is my ambient air temperature probe and the other two are connected down to the tubing that is my uh, high side and low side pressure so it measures the temperature on both of those and this is also a heat pump so you have to measure both both sides uh, because as you guys know that there's a reversal of the um, of the coolant flow pattern in order to get uh, this to act as a heat pump. So anyway, since there's two different types, there is going to be two different ranges of temperatures because they're two different probes. So let's go ahead and check the first one out. And you can see where I go to measure these instead of burying the probe down into here. If this was a hospital, I'd use probably hypodermic needles for this. But it's not a hospital, so I come right here to the back of the connector and just hold the probes on her. And let's see. There we go. Okay, you can see on this probe here, I got 4.61 kilo ohms. That is probably about normal. The next one over. I have 42.8 kilo ohms. That's the middle temperature probe. And finally, the very last temperature probe, which is this one over here. And you can see it's going up quite a bit. It's going up to 72, 73 kilo ohms. Again, uh, because it's two different probes, uh, one temperature probe is gonna be on one, one's on the other. I'm just assuming that they're the same model probe and it should be about the same ohms. Kind of weird. Now there's another way of testing this. You can leave it on ohms and you can heat it up with like a hairdryer or something and check to see the ohms and make sure that they're scaling correctly. But if they don't scale correctly, uh, you know, without being invasive and going down into here, I'm gonna do the next test, which is gonna be diode. So you see the little diode symbol up there? And now we are going to check these out with diode mode and you're going to see something very interesting here. So we're going to find the ambient air temperature sensor, the first one. 1.888 volts. Let's check the last one. I got point, yeah, let's say 0 0.75, 0 0.77 volts. Now let's check the middle one. Check that out. So two of them I am able to carry current. One of them I am not. So my middle temperature probe is actually the bad one. So the illusion here is that they all had resistance. Oh well, uh, you know, you would think that they're all good. But I've also, by the way, I've tried a diode mode uh, reversing the probes because they are polarized, so it does matter. And even with reversing the clarity, you get no current. It's uh, overload. So the middle one is most likely my problem child here. 
So what do you do next? Well, obviously, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to pull this one right here. And I'm going to get down to it and I'm going to use a heat gun. And for that, you put your multimeter on here. Um, and then you go down here with a little heat gun and you blow some hot air on that temperature probe. And you look to see if it goes up or down. Now, since this one here is the one that is not showing any current when I'm on diode mode, this is almost definitely the one that's wrong and it's right down here uh, on one of the pipes apparently one of them was damaged during this last big freeze and i'm just going to get down there read the part number off it and see if i can buy that specific temperature probe anyway guys i hope that you like this video because my tragedy you might as well learn something from do not automatically trust ohms or resistance on your multimeter if you can put some current through it and put it on diode mode. And remember, when you're on diode mode, your probes are polarized, so try reversing the probes. All right? Thank you for watching this video, guys. I know it's a brief one, but uh, I thought this was just a perfect opportunity to show you guys that there are uh, different modes on your multimeter that you can use every single day to help troubleshoot some of these weird electrical conditions like a temperature probe where it's going to always be changing resistance based on the temperature. Thanks for watching guys.